man, that is what we freaking needed. And we're back. Dynamic effort squat day should be a max effort pull day. And the reason I'm saying should is that the current predicament I'm in is that being four and a half weeks out, I only have three real training sessions left until the meet. And with how my exposure count leads to fatigue, I know that if I wanna have a good meet, I'm only really gonna be able to push on two out of three of those sessions. The reason that's kind of a problem is that with how fucked up the last couple of weeks of training have been, I really don't know where I am in terms of how fatigue is waving. So I don't really know which one of those weeks I should plan to be my bit of a down week so that I can push on those other two. And with not knowing how I'm gonna go into this week with each of my main lifts is I'm going to be try, trying to be as aware as I can of how I am feeling, where fatigue is, and try to differentiate between what is just feeling shitty during peaking and what is actually feeling shitty so that I can either bring it if it's just peaky shittiness or I can shut it down and make it a light week if it is real shitty shittiness. So I guess the only way to find out is to get into it, get warming up, so let's go. And work sets. 150 kilo, exact same thing as last week, but the whole point of these squats today is just to connect to it, feel the brace, so don't need more than that on the bar to accomplish that goal. Yeah. Big lots, good. Yep. Pause. Hold. Big right. lots. Come on. Pause. Hold. Yeah. Good. Big in. What? A little lower. Pull in. Yep. Hold. Lots. Good. Tight, tight, tight. Lots. Pause. Hold. Yep. Knees. Good. Yep. There you go. Yep. Big pull. Big pull. Pause. Head. Good. Yes. Do that again. Head. Pause. Pull. Yep. Back down. And what we remembered on Sunday about the foot pressure at the start of the pick to let me use the bar's weight to get tighter definitely freaking helped. Because like last week on these 150 kilos, it felt like something. Today, it felt like less than the empty bar. And like the only thing I was kind of screwing up on is the early sets, my head pack wasn't quite dialed. I guess I just didn't like warm up my shoulders and open up enough prior to getting started. But like once that sorted out, like they were freaking money. And right now I'm at least optimistic heading into pulls. And taking a moment to make sure hip extensions opened up before I pull, but might as well make this a fat guy stretch tips. Like if you're a big dude that's struggling to really get a good pull and a couch stretch, front leg, Think about doing a leg curl, curl yourself into that tension, gonna make it way more freaking gnarly, way more productive, and you're actually gonna be able to get something out of the couch stretch. And like the hip flexor video the other week, I talked about the old Poliquin thing, how he wanted people to do this to inhibit their hip flexors because he thought it gave better glute activation. And like, it's not that we want to inhibit the hip flexors, it's that we just wanna make sure that we have adequate length prior to doing anything really strong hip extension based because if we are lacking a little bit length and able to in our ability to access hip extension glutes aren't going to be able to drive through as hard so it's like less about inhibition just making sure that the length that i need is there
And that was double overhand for everybody at home. Yeah. There you go. And something I worked really hard on this week was ankle range. And I think it's helping me get like more knees over the bar, which is making the start position feel a whole lot better. Yeah! There you go, fight! Woo! PR double? Huh? PR double? Yeah. Sick. By like, probably 30 pounds. Okay, 300 in the bar, more freaking tightness. Just forward on rep one. So kind of did the Dan Bell at the hybrid classic second attempt of 900 on that first rep. Like I'm trying to slow down the pumps a little bit so I'm not popping the plates off the ground because I don't want reds for that at this meet. And like with the slower pumps, I was just like too far forward. And then I had to like shift back and that's why the lock on that person was shitty. But second one found it, brought it, made it move good. So we're going up. <laughs> Man, that is what we freaking needed. And like, I still need to dial in those soft pumps a little better, but like, we are exactly where we need to be at four and a half out. So I'm stoked. And like, I was telling you guys, when we're missing a bunch with the AR pulls, when it was true max effort work, like it might've looked a little bit rough, but I knew with what I was missing against the AR, like I knew pulls were in shape and I knew that we were going to be in a good spot. And it's just like a matter of getting that little bit, little bit of specificity back in, getting that dialed in, dialed. And yeah, I'm stoked. And like watching the video, I'm almost kicking myself that I didn't go for a triple there. But in a way, I'm also glad that I didn't go for a triple there because we don't need to blow our load at four and a half weeks out. And I guess that means it is time to crank on some accessories. Maybe not crank because I also don't need to be pushing those super hard at this far out either, but we're gonna do some accessories. And I should have filmed this, but Darrell made us roll the bar over this platform because he doesn't like that platform. And I, I don't like this platform because the wood is slippery. I can't like torque in super hard, but he doesn't like that platform because it's a little bit squishy. So I don't know, he's taking a shit right now, but if the camera's over here, instead of running the step ups like I did last week, figure I'm gonna do a reverse lunge because that should let me get into the adductor in a similar way. And this is way harder than it should be. So I don't think we're going to need to add any load. And similar idea. I'm really just trying to sit into that adductor magnus. Let the knee roll in just a little bit. And control my way to the bottom as well as I can. And that's getting hard fast. This is shameful. Yeah. Okay, lefty. And like I am catching myself with the back leg so that I don't fall over, but I'm trying to make sure that the back leg is doing as little work as I can make it. Yeah. 
sick. We got time for another set of lunges? Okay. Another set of lunges. And it's like I'm trying to sit back with the hips, but I'm also trying to let the knee go forward. And I know that's kind of counterintuitive, but it's like I'm trying to load into this almost in the same way that I go to the bar on the deadlift because that's what I really wanted to transfer over to. So <sighs> kind of making it hard on myself on purpose. And that is so gnarly through the adductor. Wow. I should have been doing more of these sooner. Ah. And like left ankles struggling a bit. When I was a kid, I tore Achilles on my right side when I was racing. So you'd think that, that would be the worst ankle, but the left ankle ended up getting pinned back together. So it is a clunky mess sometimes. And I'm feeling her right now. So need to keep cranking on that ankle range work. We got the all important song selection process in Durrell's 45 minute preparedness routine to get ready for a top set. And he's one of those guys that like always lifts slow. So that's like a RPE six for him. All right, back for some Nordics. They're gonna warm up with the ball and then maybe we'll get a little bit adventurous. Yeah. And Miana's working it again. You might want to make this dive. Why not? Also, to be fair, you've been working on these for like a year. Not a year. Two years? Yeah. I'm just starting. Yeah, but you're like 130 pounds. I feel like I'm doing better than last week. Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah, anymore. yeah. Okay, as promised, we're getting adventurous. Hop. <sighs> Holy shit! I did a Nordic. Did. I did a Nordic. Did. I don't want to be able to do two. Can you put another plate on? Because it started to lift. Need more counterweight. <laughs> Okay, do we got two Nordics? <laughs> Max effort double. I don't think we're going for three. All right, putting the ball back because that was far too difficult, but still stoked that I was at least able to get a couple in. Yeah, hammies are feeling it. And once again, we are blessed with someone leaving the perfect amount of weight on the T-bar row for some underhand pump and squeeze work. Similar deal to like the triceps and the pull downs last night. 
absolute control, absolute connection, super freaking deliberate, and just like trying to fail as soon as I can with this minuscule amount of weight, making it hard because of how much I'm contracting through the eccentric, how deliberately I'm pulling on the concentric. And she just feels wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. And like, I get that lifting light on accessories like isn't exciting, isn't something that you really get fired up for, but the feel you get during this and like how much you can dig into the contraction makes it fun. And I think that even if you don't need to do all of your accessories or even most of your accessories with this intent as a power lifter, it is such a good skill to have to learn how to make a lightweight hard. Because if you can really connect to a lightweight and make that lightweight productive, when you're moving something heavy on an accessory, you can make it more productive. And this one's sneaking up on me again. Oh boy. And filming that hip flexor video, I realized that the hip flexor intent GHO sit-ups aren't feeling as strong as I want them to. So that is what we're running today. And really just try to hold and control and expose the bottom end that feels all shaky. So that we can get her to start to catch on a bit better. Hooey. <sighs> and Darrell had a quarter out for his GHRs, so we're gonna try to load these and see how terrible it feels, which is not horrible, but definitely needs more stronger in that bottom position. Boy. <laughs> and giving myself a little thingy tune up with the dumbbell finger rolls. And this is less about being worried about grip and more about making sure that my hands are in shape to self-wrap two warm-ups and three attempts on meet day and then still be good to hold on to a big deadlift. And like, if you can't see what I'm doing here, I'm basically just letting the dumbbells roll on the fingertips then curling up, finishing with a bit of a wrist curl. And this is by far my 100% favorite way to bring up hand strength and finger strength. And like just grab a moderate pair of dumbbells and go to town on some reps. And like usual recommendation for these is two or three sets, just push reps, you know, 10 to 20 ish, get a gigantic forearm pump. And what can kind of even help these more is when you're doing them, it's like intuitive to want to put most of it in your index and middle, but you can like really try to focus to squeeze ring, squeeze that little finger because bringing those guys up will make a huge difference in your ability to hold on to the deadlift bar. Whew. And that is freaking that. And like, I wasn't letting on to this during the pulls, but I'm definitely carrying a little bit of fatigue right now. And like, it wasn't enough to be detrimental and it wasn't enough that going big today was bad, but it was like one of those sessions where I had to internally bring it a little bit to make it happen. And it's like, if I can pull that that well, feeling like this, now that I know how pulls are gonna pan out the rest of this prep, like 
with this week being good, I'm going to go down a good chunk next week, make sure that I'm fresh so I can take something bigger at two and a half out, deal with the meat, pull well on the platform. But it's like, if I can make that go this well in this state, holy freaking shit, it is game on. And like with that said, I'm still not certain how bench and squat will feel. And like, for all I know, like I might fall flat on my face on bench day and need to cap it early. But I know that if I go light this week on bench, I should be good for the next two weeks. And I know that if I have to go light this week on squats, I'll be good for the next two weeks. And one way or another, it is going to work out pretty damn nifty. And I'm just, fuck, at this point, I'm like just stoked at, even if shit felt rough for a little bit there as we were beginning to ramp up, like in a way that was necessary because it forced me to figure out some things that I wasn't aware of because like, this is the first time I've ever come back from pec surgery. Like I didn't expect to run into some of the issues that I ran into, but you know what? We're figuring it out. We're getting it sorted. We're learning. We are going to be better off in the long term for it. And like, I'm stoked. Like this meet, it was just supposed to be me having a target to show myself that I wasn't done, but I didn't realize how much I would be showing myself that I am so far from done in this sport. So guys, thank you so much for tagging along for this ride. Appreciate the heck of you for supporting this channel. Peace out. Have a good night.